Those who like the cold weather are going to be very yes. lucky yes. tonight, right, Dave? You have two days of uh, luck uh, in store for you here. We are just getting started. Uh, that front came through and the skies have cleared. Uh, so we have clear skies, a bit of a breeze tonight, much colder temperatures kind of working their way down the Florida Peninsula here. Thanks to this is breeze northwest to north, turning about 10, 15 miles an hour would be a higher gust at times, not dying down overnight tonight. It'll be around tomorrow morning. So when you combine that with this 60s, 50s and even a 40s trying to push into the area. Feel a little chill in the air when you step outside. Wind chills will be even colder than that. Now, here are the wind chills. See these 40s kind of work their way south, definitely working into the area. Uh, we have that breeze in the forecast tomorrow as high pressure kind of builds in. Uh, but from Wednesday morning to Thursday morning, it's kind of right overhead. So that'll die that wind down. It'll be a little calmer tomorrow night. But even though it's a little calmer, it could be just as or even colder, especially over the interior here. That's why the next day uh, we could see even colder temperatures, maybe a little warmer along that coast. It's where you start to see that big difference there between the coast and inland. Not the case tonight with that breeze. It is all over by Friday morning. That high pressure area of high pressure moves off the coast. There's that ocean breeze developing. That'll bring back the milder temperatures and the moisture. So we'll put a few more showers back in the forecast. So two days we're talking about from the mid 70s down into the 50s to uh, tomorrow morning, upper 40s Thursday morning. The difference is we have a bit of a wind chill uh, to talk about tomorrow morning 50s feeling like they're into the upper 40s. Here's this breeze 10 15 miles an hour, maybe a higher gust at times. It's around tonight. It's around tomorrow. What is not around anymore? The clouds and the showers. They are clear on real time Doppler. So these are the coldest temperatures of the season so far uh, in mid November. We did drop down to 60 in Fort Lauderdale past that hours to go before we see our low temperature 70 in Key West to be dropping into the 60s tonight. Not much of a rebound tomorrow. It stays cool with that north wind at 10 to 15 miles an hour. 66 that's barely above or not even up to uh, our average low temperature now, uh, which is down to 66. So a cool day tomorrow. Small craft advisory in effect until 7 o'clock in the morning. That wind is 15 to 20 knots out of the north. 5 to 7 foot seas. Moderate chop the bays. Now we put uh, the showers and the clouds back Back in the forecast, along with the warmer temperatures, it's here by Saturday and Sunday. Uh, we'll keep the numbers into the mid 80s on Monday and Tuesday as the clouds increase and the moisture's here, so we have to put showers in the forecast. So a little bit change here. Yeah, the first few days where it's cold, warmer weather's back by the weekend.